take a hundred. <laughs> Guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you could join me. I wanted to have a little discussion about my channel first. It's actually a lifestyle channel, so I don't want anyone to think that it's just going to be fashion hauls and makeup. I absolutely love all of those things, but I definitely want to talk about things that inspire me, books I love reading, where I go to for traveling and and sometimes it could even be weekly vlogs so it's going to vary and gradually I'm sure you know I'll get into the rhythm of things so I just wanted to put that out there first so I could get on with the fun part moving on today's video is actually going to be a little bit of fun it's actually a lipstick tag video now I love watching these videos so I thought why not I have a lot of lipsticks uh, what it actually is is a bunch of questions that I'm going to answer which will be put in the um, description box so if you want to join in and perhaps write in the comments what your favorite lips not I will be tagging other young channels like myself who only have a few subscribers and I will get them to also tag themselves in and answer these questions it's lots of fun and I'm gonna start and crack on right so the first question is what is my favorite lip balm and in my 20s I never used to wear a lot of lip balm not at all but as time has gone on I really like putting pencil on before I put on a bright color so that the lipstick stays and all of that really does take quite a bit of battering with your lips so to keep them hydrated and moisturized is really important Vaseline or some sort of moisturizing balm on and then put your pencil and lipstick on It's quite nice. It gives a little bit of a sheen or at night you can When you're doing your thick hydrating lip balm throughout the night, which actually keeps your lips moisturized throughout So the first one that I actually used was the rosy lips It's actually really really nice it leaves a little bit of a pink tint and I, I really do like this when I don't feel like wearing lipstick, this is actually the perfect go-to and it also keeps your lips high. But my favorite, favorite one is the Kyle's Lip Balm. It's really, really hydrating. It's like a thick, thick cream that you can put on throughout the day or you can put it on at night and it really does the job. I think it's definitely my go-to. They have different flavors in this as well. They have mint and they have strawberry, but I prefer neutral. There's no color that comes on with these, whereas a Vaseline one there is. So if you want a bit of a tint, then I suppose the Vaseline is better, but the Kyle's one is fast becoming my favorite. Next question is best eye-catching red. Now I wanted to make this really interesting, but I think I'm going to standardize it a little bit. My first go-to is definitely Ruby Woo red. You can't go wrong with this red. It's like my favorite since I was at university. I, it's my go-to. It's very, very dry and very matte finish, but it's quite difficult to put on your lips. I would say that you do need to tug at it a little bit to get it on, but it's the best red ever. And I did feel a little like, oh, what a boring answer. But then I thought to myself, well, fast becoming my other favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury red. You can't go wrong with this. And I recently did a blog post on this. And I also did a video on this as well. This is absolutely beautiful. And it's a really shocking bright red, very much like Ruby Woo. The only difference is it's not as drying on the lips. So you don't feel like you need to moisturize your lips beforehand and then apply this. It's literally glides on and it's just such a soft feeling but at the same time gives a matte finish so really pleased with those two but I know Ruby will always be my favorite and the other one is I contemplate on whether I should put this in but it's box um, by Illamasqua the color is beautiful I have really talked about this a lot that um, it's very drying on the lips and very difficult to get onto your lips So you do need to moisturize the lips beforehand and then tug this on but once it's on it's not moving anywhere So these are my favorites question is best luxury now. I have really fallen for um, Vive Saint Laurent's um, lip glosses. So I recently purchased this one. Uh, how beautiful is this packaging? You just wanna buy it just for the packaging. They have the Vive Saint Laurent 
um, brand mark around here. It has a gold lid. It's just really, really pretty. This is a pink nude shimmer and it's in the number 10. Very pretty. So very, very pretty. It's really shiny, very glossy. And what I love about the Vive Saint Laurent glosses are that they're actually quite hydrating, which is so strange. Like when you put them on, it's like putting cream on your lips. It's absolute joy to put it on. It's not sticky. It's not sort of bitty. It's just glides on and leaves a beautiful shimmer. They had a number of different glosses, but I was really, really impressed with this. And I'm quite a stickler for brands with glosses that I like. So I have definitely my favorite at the moment. Best drugstore is actually Rimmel Kate Moss. And this is 107. And I think this is for every single person that loves makeup. It's the Rimmel Kate Moss 107. It's a beautiful deep burgundy red. It's just an amazing colour. Even when you sort of run out of a red shade that you're not feeling, this is just the perfect through summer, through winter. It's a really throughout the year colour and that's what I love about it. So affordable. If you haven't tried this, you're missing out. So it's the Rimmel Kate Moss 107. One of my favourites. Best MAC lipstick. Now this was really tricky because I've been using MAC since I was a university student. Probably uh, during my A-levels I found MAC and it you can't go wrong with it. It's got so many choices, different shades. So my two favorites that have always stood out, and you know, obviously you've got the reds, and there are nudes as well, but I think two of my favorites have always been, and this is actually quite controversial, because not, not everyone actually likes these, is Rebel, which is a really purpley, dark, deep color. And then I've got Diva, Again, a very deep purpley colour. Very, very similar, but one is a bit more brighter and one is more darker. I absolutely love these colours and not everyone does, but when I wear this, people say, oh, that's a really nice colour. What is it? So my go-to and sort of for years now have been Rebel and Diva. I really like them. They're purpley shades, colors that you normally wouldn't wear. You usually wear reds or pinks or browns, but these are purples, so very gothic color, and they're my, definitely my MAC other favorite colors. Most disappointing, I have talked about this in a blog, blog post as well, which is the Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss. Now this is called the High Shimmer Lip Gloss, and it's Pink sequin number 13. So disappointing. It isn't even a high shimmer lip gloss. That's what's shocking. There's no shimmer in this. The gloss is there. It comes off within an hour. It's very sticky. I just don't like the feel of it. It just feels so sticky on the lips and I don't know. I just didn't like it. There's, there's actually more drugstore lip glosses that are much better and at the fraction of a cost lip gloss it doesn't shimmer there's not a lot of gloss it's very sticky very bitty and comes off really easily so no not impressed liner or no liner oh my god liner all the way i wish i knew how to put liner on better but i'm sure with practice i will become perfect but my favorite one that i've been using for quite a while is from benefit it's a super cat fat what i love about it the nib is actually at an angle so it's a lot easier to get that feline sort of um look that one wants it's got the angle so it's a lot easier i absolutely love it you can't go wrong with a liner i think you can keep your face very basic with just a gloss and even if you just have mascara and an eyeliner it's perfect or just a little cat flick makes a big difference so yes to liner the next one is best gloss uh everyone knows this about me my dior gloss this tea i absolutely love dior lip glosses they are my favorite um, I have lots of them because I try and stick to one. So this is a very nude pink, but it has such an amazing shimmer. I love the packaging. It has such a pretty um, lid, you know, and it's and it's really, it doesn't, it's not messy. It has the brush type of applicator. Lots of product goes on it. It's just, it's really good. Honestly, it's really, really good. And it just, it stands out. It's a beautiful shimmer during the day, evening. Um, recently, I purchased... Um, the Hourglass Extra Sheen in Icon and this was so nice. 
it's not necessarily the color the color is pretty it's a red color but it's the way it just glides on and it's got such a beautiful shine to it that it's definitely an evening wear definitely feels nice on the lips hourglass thumbs up something extra was one of the final questions so something extra so i wanted to talk about some of my favorite lipsticks to play around with so i really like chanel's packaging it's actually a pla plain black casing and you actually sort of tap it it's uh, magnetic and then you sort of take the lipstick out and you've got this take the lipstick out and then you've got this oh this is like a neon pink i do like my pinks this is rouge allure velvet in number 42 it's so pretty and it used to have the cc mark on the top but it's rubbed off the packaging is so cute coco chanel at the bottom of it it's magnetic so you just clip it back in it's really catered black casing and i really really love the colors i've got some orange colors pinks i've got reds but this neon pink is one of my favorites some favorite bobby brown lipsticks i don't like their glosses for sure but i definitely like their lipsticks so one of my favorites is at hot berry um this is um yeah this is hot berry beautiful color it's like a metallic pink purple it's really nice and really stands out so this is one of my favorite go-to's recently I've also got a nude and this is one of my favorite nudes and I don't have a lot of nudes I used to do a lot of um mac pink plowed plowed i don't know how to say it but now this is really my favorite it's actually lilac number 17 rich lip color it's such a pretty color so pretty. actually wear this with like a smoky eye you can have a really heavy eye and this gives enough color but it's not too in your face so yeah a good nude and then i've got wine which i've worn a lot it's one of my favorite colors actually for winter it's really like a just a wine deep dark color it's my favorite for winter and i do like wearing this so this was my lipstick tag i hope you enjoyed it i will have all the questions in the description box answer them have fun with it i tag other young channels onto this as well and I hope you've enjoyed my fun lipstick tags. My videos will always vary but I appreciate you liking and subscribe to my channel. I have social media that you can watch me on, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all those links will be down below and I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!